Pagandang araw, Quezon Hires! Ako si Ma'am Ruby at ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin ang bagong paraan sa pagdadesign ng mga pagsusulit or exam. Ang typical na exam natin ay gumagamit ng multiple choice questions kung saan kailangan natin pumili ng wastong sagot sa tatlo o apat na pamimilian at usually, isa lang ang tamang sagot. At dahil nais natin patuloy na pauna rin ang ating critical thinking skills, starting this quarter, ang gagamitin natin ay ang tinatawag natin na multidimensional assessment using the RBT solo vision. Let's try to define these terms. Starting with assessment. Assessment refers to all the methods or tools that teachers use to evaluate or measure your learning. This includes quizzes, performance tests, projects, research, exam, at marami pang iba. Multidimensional assessment, on the other hand, looks at different levels of learning to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the learners. Ibig sabihin, it will examine two or more dimensions of learning. Pero ano nga ba mga dimensions of learning? Sa tinatawag na RBT, which stands for Revised Bloom's Taxonomy, meron tayong cognitive process and knowledge dimensions. Sa cognitive process dimensions, meron tayong anim na levels, which are remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. Sa knowledge dimensions naman, meron tayong apat, factual, conceptual, procedural, at metacognitive. Sa RBT, pagsasamahin natin ang cognitive process dimensions at knowledge dimensions. Ito ang dahilan kung bakit iba-iba ang type and level of difficulty ng mga test questions. Yumako naman tayo sa tinatawag nating solo framework. Kung ang test questions ay magbabase according sa cognitive and knowledge dimensions ng revised Bloom's Taxonomy, ang mga choices or pamimilian ay magbabase naman sa solo framework. Solo stands for Structure of Observed Learning Outcomes. This has five levels, namely pre-structural, unistructural, multistructural, relational, and extended abstract. Sa isang tanong na may apat na pamimilian, each option will be categorized according to a certain level. Kaya tingnan muna natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng bawat level. Sa pre-structural level, the learner does not know anything about the task or the subject. Sa unistructural naman, the learner knows just a single relevant aspect of a task or a subject. At this stage, the student only knows about the basic concept of the task or the subject. In multistructural level, the student knows several relevant independent aspects of the subject. This time, hindi lang isa. However, the student struggles to connect these ideas. In relational level, the learner can now connect the concepts and ideas which shows deep understanding of the subject. The highest level is the extended abstract, where students do not only make connections within the provided task, but they also create connections beyond it. They are able to propose new concepts and ideas on basis of their understanding of the task or subject being fought. So, ano nga ba ang implication nito sa ating task questions? Halimbawa sa isang task question, meron tayong apat na pamimilian or choices. Letter A is pre-structural. Letter B could be unistructural. Letter C is multistructural. And letter D is relational. From these choices, alin sa inyong palagay ang pinakatamang sagot? Tama! It's letter D dahil nasa relational level siya. Pero hindi nangangahulugan na mali ang ibang choices. Sa bagong form of assessment, ang bawat option o pamimilian ay may corresponding points. In this example, letter D will get the highest points dahil nasa relational level siya. So kapag napili mo ang letter D, you'll get the free points. Kung napili mo naman ang letter C na multistructural, you'll get two points. One point naman sa letter B na unistructural and zero or no point at all kung letter A ang napili mo dahil pre-structural siya. To better understand it, let's take a look at this item. This is an example of a test question for English 9. 
You are watching the news on how the construction of Kaliwa Dam project is pushing through this year. An excerpt from the video states the following. So here you have to read the text. The Kaliwa Dam was one of the projects presented in 2019 to then President Duterte to address the water crisis. The MWSS said the Kaliwa Dam is essential to the country's long-term water security and realization of its sustainable development goals. Environmental Police, however, have expressed their opposition to the building of the dam, citing that the project is not ethical nor is it legal. This will have an enormous impact on the Sierra Madre, which is not just a home to a wide array of indigenous groups but also of rich biodiversity. Thus, the construction of the Kaliwa Dam must be revoked as it violates legal processes and the Philippine Constitution. It is destructive to the environment and is against the country's national interests. The question is, what is the opinion expressed in the excerpt? Letter A, the Kaliwa Dam project can address the country's water supply crisis but there are people who are against its construction. Letter B, the Kaliwa Dam project must be stopped because of its numerous social and environmental concerns. It is unconstitutional and destructive to the people and environment. Letter C, the Kaliwa Dam project according to MWSS has finally begun its construction as shown in the excerpt. And letter D, the Kaliwa Dam project is controversial because of its many negative effects on the environment and it infringes on the rights of the indigenous people. So which do you think is the best answer? If you answered letter B, then you are correct. Looking at this table, you can see that letter B is at the relational level, which corresponds to 3 points. Letter D for 2 points, letter A gets 1 point, and no point at all for letter C. So last column, you can see the reasons or justification for the answers. Let's take a look at another example. This time, the question is from grade 7 English. You want to take down notes on an inspiring story being aired in a documentary television program. Which viewing materials fit the purpose? A. Flash Report, Encantadia, Chica Minute, B. Chica Minute, 24 Horas, Eyewitness, C. Reporter's Notebook, Kapuso Mo, Jessica Soho, Eyewitness, or Letter D. Eyewitness, Reporter's Notebook, 24 Horas. Sa palagay nyo, ano ang tamang sagot? That's correct. It's letter C because lahat ng binigay na TV shows ay tama. So you get 3 points. If you answer D, you get 2 points. If you answered B, you get 1 point. And if you answered A, you'll get no score on this question. Remember, it's important to select the best answer to the question being asked because this time, our test questions will have choices that correspond to a certain point. For example, option A is equivalent to 1 point, option B is equivalent to 2 points, option C is equivalent to 3 points, and option D is equivalent to no point at all. This may vary depending on the question. For example, pwede rin na ang option A is equivalent to 3 points, option B is equivalent to 1 point, option C is equivalent to 1 point, and option D is equivalent to no point at all. So make sure that you read the entire question carefully. Answer it in your mind first, read every option, eliminate wrong answers, and select the best answer. That's all for today and I hope you find this video informative. Thanks for watching!